Hello and welcome to the Streamlining Your Service Department and Bolstering Your Bottom Line with Sage Service Operations. My name is Vincent Pate and I'm sales engineer here at Sage Construction and Real Estate in rainy Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to talk about how Sage Service Operations can help expand out your service management module into the cloud for all your technicians to have quick access to. Today we are specifically talking about Sage 300 Construction Real Estate solution on this. There is a Sage 100 Contractor uh, version as well, and if you are a 100 Contractor user, um, you, don't, you don't necessarily have to stay on here today. Uh, if you just want to go ahead and shoot me an email, I will uh, send you over a 100 Contractor recording that goes along with this. Uh, our agenda today, we'll talk first about some of the uh, concerns that we heard in the service and specialty market that prompted us to bring in a solution like this. And then we'll kind of move into how our product can fill in those gaps and, and kind of move that direction. I won't spend a lot of time on PowerPoints. We'll move into an actual demo and I'll go through a couple roles of dispatcher and technician. And at the end, I'll leave uh, usually about 10 minutes or so of Q&A time so we can ask all those questions out there that are, that are burning through as we go through. If you do throw things in the chat as we uh, proceed forward, I'll try to answer them as I see them. Otherwise, we'll, we'll answer those questions at the end there. So uh, what were some of the uh, concerns we found out when we did do a ping with the service and specialty contractors out there? Uh, what we found is that um, many people out there have technicians running on, in their trucks with paper. And the paper is something where they'd have to have a big binder holding all the information and filling out the work as you go. And you may be familiar with this. Your technicians go to a work site, they fill in all the work by hand, then they go to another work site, and they may go for a couple days before coming back into the office. At that point, then this three-day-old paper or however long it's been in the truck gets taken to the service management department where the stuff is coded into Sage 300 for billing. Again, having to transcode that in manually, read through their handwriting, and go um, into the system. With this, there's lots of delays we found. And because there's delays in getting the information into Sage 300, it also means that getting data out of Sage 300 is delayed. Technicians who need to get real-time data, hey, has somebody come out here yesterday or the day before because something doesn't seem right from what I was told, they would have to call the office to find out as they may not have that information coded in the system, they would never know. And also you find that if you are looking into the service department's profitability, all of your reports are going to be delayed by the amount of time it takes to enter anything in. So profitability reports on service agreements or technician prof, uh, productivity always has a delay, and you never know exactly if the big thing that just happened was accommodated with this particular work um, report. Also with dispatching, we have a slight um, disadvantage without uh, a mobile solution because with dispatching you have to do everything on a in sage service management or um, on a chalk or a whiteboard or wherever you're doing it then having to manually get that information over to your technicians either by hand or by email and this is stuff that causes delays your technicians either have to come in the office every morning to get their updates or they have to be constantly checking and back with the office if there's any changes and this dispatching can become inefficient and you also don't know exactly when they complete a job if things go over and if that's going to cause any shifts to everything moving forward sales opportunities can also be lost in the field in this method as a technician may write something down on a sheet of paper and then that paper just never makes it back to the office uh, we want to make sure that all sales opportunities are not only captured, but followed up on, and we need a tool to take care of that is what we found. And most importantly, we found that with the downturn of the market several years ago, it really caused a lot of construction companies to bolster their service department as it turned out to be more profitable in many cases. This led to increased competition, and with the increased competition, the demand for better, faster customer service, as customers now had more options to choose from in your particular field. Ways that we can make that better is if a uh, technician coming out knows more about what's happening, if they have more, in, uh, if they can get information quicker and faster to the customer, and just always be ready to go. And because 
uh, technicians need information a lot, and we, we talked about that you know, slight delay in, in time. If a technician doesn't have what they need, say they uh, need to purchase parts and they need to get a PO requisition, if they can't do this because they're calling into the office and nobody's answering, it's the busy season, or they're, they're having to call up in the office and wait for somebody to collate and find information on their end, the work stops. This could then lead to delays and possibly lost revenue as techs don't get to the next appointment and then it rolls over to the next day and we become less productive. There's also that paper that we talked about earlier and there could be hundreds of paper per week that a technician has to go through. Uh, if we look at an average service company with 10 technicians doing three calls a day, five days a week, you're looking at about 150 work orders per week that these technicians have to fill out. Those are typically in triplicate, so we're talking about a lot of paper, as well as all the supplemental forms that go along with it, safety checklist, uh, warranty um, paperwork. All the different paper, we could be looking at hundreds of pieces of paper per, tech, uh, per company every single week, and that's just with a small company. All this paper not only has to be taken care of and purchased and, and given to the employees, but everything that has to be transcoded into your SAGE accounting system so that you know what's going on when you run your reports in accounting. And that's more time entered redoing something that somebody has already put the time and effort to do. We want to go green. We want to make sure that people can get the work done immediately and fast and try to cut down on paper and help save. And so how can we do that? We have a bridge, and that is called the Sage Service Operations. Sage Service Operations takes all that paperwork and all that stuff the technicians are doing and gives them a place in the cloud to enter all that information. That information bridges back over and right into your Sage Service Management in Sage 300 Construction Real Estate. This allows for that direct integration with your accounting and your technicians out in the field. Because Sage Service Operations is a fully web-based uh, solution that will work on any browser in any uh, mobile platform you have there as long as you have an Internet connection. So if I'm using a tablet or a smartphone or a laptop or a desktop in the office, any of these things will work for allowing you to access this here. And with the Sage Service Operations not only working on any type of device, it means your technicians can pretty much be anywhere with their tablets or their phones let's say tablets for the majority of this, uh, they can be working on their tablets and do their work orders. This allows them to bring up their work order, fill in all the information, do their labor, and their labor can go back into payroll. This also doubles as a timekeeping device for everyone who would be accessing. So your technicians are able to capture their time, do all their work, get their time cards submitted, as well as all their work orders instantaneously back to the main office, completely eliminating all of those delays that were inflated because of the paper. There's no paper. There's no delays. We also give a tool as well. It's called the Safe Service Operations for Customers, where you can actually give your customers a site that they can log in and self-serve if need be. We can give them all the site history. And this is all subject to security. If you don't want them to see things, you, you, know, you can. But they can come in and look at all their equipment history and what they've had worked on. They can look at all their work orders and their invoices right from the screen. And the ability to, um, right from there, um, pull up and uh, create their own work tickets. If you, uh, this actually works really well on the property management side. If you have tenants who want to be able to create um, uh, work tickets on the fly when things break, uh, but it also works great right on the uh, you know main side. If you have a large customer, say Walmart, who uses you guys a lot, and you want them to give a nice site with your logo, and they can log in and submit a service request for you to dispatch out. We'll talk about both these solutions here in just a minute, and uh, I'm actually going to skip this little slideshow here. It's talking about the normal process of a work order, but we're really going to be touching that along right here in the demo of the software, which let's go ahead and jump to right now.